are you tired of waiting on manual deployments or seeing user stories marked done only for them to break later in today's session we are going to learn how github actions can be your secret weapon as a scrum master if you are an agile coach or somebody working closely with development teams this video will help you understand how this automation improves speed quality and transparency in agile delivery hi i'm neel and welcome back to career stock channel where we talk and share real experiences to help you in your agile journey this is the second episode from the scrum master tech stack and in today's video we will be discussing about how github actions can help you in the previous video we explored how jenkin helps team build a real reliable ci cd pipeline today we are taking that understanding one step further because modern agile teams are increasingly using github not only for code but also for automation testing security checks and deployments so as a scrum master understanding github actions is becoming just as important as understanding user stories and sprint metrics that means fewer tools to manage faster feedback loops and simplified pipelines because github action brings the entire ci cd workflow closer to the development team directly inside the repository and much higher visibility into what is happening after a story moves to review or done state this is exactly where we as a scrum master can add huge value you don't need to create workflows or code yaml files but when you understand how automation support flows you help team eliminate delays reduce handcuffs and catch issues early in the life cycle so in this session we will look at github actions not from a developer lens but from a scrum master and agile coach lens focusing on how it improves flow how it reduces dependencies and how it brings more predictability into your sprint and your pi outcomes let's jump into today's topic the core idea of this episode is as a scrum master how we can leverage github actions to make our team faster more reliable and more predictable github actions is not just a developer tool it's a workflow engine that automates the entire path from code commit to deployment and when this automation is strong your agile flow becomes stronger we are basically focusing on three things ci cd how github actions automates builds tests and deploys automation how repetitive manual work is removed from the team's plate faster flow how this leads to quicker feedback fewer blockers and smoother sprint progress throughout this video i'll break down each of these areas in a simple scrum master friendly way and shows you how understanding github actions helps your guide your team better let's start by understanding what github action actually is so what exactly github action means it is github's own built in automation platform this is github's robust ci cd continuous integration continuous delivery platform it's the engine that runs your team's automation that means whenever developers push code create a pull request or schedule a job github actions can automatically build test and deploy the application in simple words github action is equal to automating work that developers usually do manually and the best thing you don't need to have a separate server like jenkins everything runs inside the github itself why scrum master should care about it as a scrum master we are not expected to write pipelines or code but knowing github actions help us optimize the flow of value and remove impediments there are five main benefits faster feedback developers instantly know if the code is broken support definition of done automated tests uh, linting and quality checks ensure stories are truly done improves transparency anyone can see pipeline status in real time reduces manual errors 
no more manual deployments or forgotten checks, promotes sustainable pace, automation reduces stress from repetitive manual tasks. So this help us sprints predictable and stable. What are the core components of GitHub Actions? Now let's understand the basic building blocks of GitHub Actions. You can think of this like an assembly line, workflow, the complete automation file, the entire assembly line, event, the trigger like push, PR or schedule, the switch that turns the line on, job, a group of steps that run in a single runner, a major section of the line like painting, step, a command or script to execute, a single machine task, action, a reusable automation created by GitHub or the community. Uh, we can say like a pre-built robot. Knowing this structure help us read pipeline files and communicate better with the team. What is the repository structure? The automation configuration is not hidden. Every GitHub action workflow is stored in this folder github slash workflows inside this folder you will find yaml files like ci.yml this is the automation script that github follows when an event happens as a scrum master knowing this location means you can look directly at the configuration to confirm that the definition of done checks are actually running thus improving the transparency now Let's understand simple workflow examples. Here is how a real workflow looks like. Don't worry about the syntax. Let's understand the flow. Look at the on push line. This tells you what triggers the inspection. The steps running npm test or lint show you how quality is being enforced. If a build fails, you can quickly jump into the pipeline logs, inspect the error and help the team adapt faster. Even if you don't write code, you can easily read and understand what happens in the pipeline. Let's see how GitHub Actions supports Scrum. GitHub Actions directly supports Scrum's core pillars. Transparency. Everyone sees build and test results. Inspection. Issues are identified quickly. Adaption. The team fixes problems sooner. And most importantly, it ensures the definition of done through automated quality checks. This makes sprint delivery more predictable and improves overall quality. What are the common use cases of this? So where exactly do teams use GitHub Actions? CI CD pipeline, running unit and integration tests, code scanning and linting, deploying apps to cloud providers like AWS, Azure, GCP sending slacks or jira notifications schedule jobs like nightly builds these automations save a lot of development time and eliminate repetitive manual steps let's understand the key metrics for scrum master as a scrum master these metrics which are cornerstones of the industry standard dora metrics are what you can observe from github actions build success rate how stable is the code? Deployment frequency. How often are we releasing? MTTR. Mean time to recover pipeline issues. Test coverage. Are we covering most of the code? These metrics will help you identify the bottlenecks, quantify your technical debt, and drive continuous improvement during the retrospectives. Now let's understand the difference between GitHub Actions and Jenkins. Many team asks, should we use Jenkins or GitHub Actions? GitHub Actions is cloud-based, easy setup, and it has less maintenance. It is ideal for teams already using GitHub. Jenkins. Jenkins is highly customizable, but it requires server maintenance. More control, but it is more overhead. Most modern teams prefer GitHub Actions because it's tightly integrated and minimizes maintenance burden. What are the Scrum Master's action items here? As a Scrum Master, our responsibility is to monitor the pipeline features daily, facilitate the root cause analysis, and implement discussions, encourage small, frequent commits to reduce the risks, ensure that the DoD explicitly includes automated checks. During sprint reviews, request the team to demo the pipeline as part of working increment. This makes you a DevOps aware Scrum Master, a strong skill in industry today.
to summarize github actions bring automation speed and quality to agile teams scrum masters who understand these basic devops practice guide teams more effectively and help deliver predictable and stable increments by embracing this knowledge you are not just a scrum master you become a flow master capable of guiding your team towards true continuous integration and delivery this is how you differentiate yourself in today's market before we close let's quickly recap what we covered today we learned what github action is why it matters for scrum master and how it strengthens ci cd automation and flow we looked at the core components and real workflow examples key scrum benefits and the metrics you can track to improve team performance finally we saw how understanding these pipeline help us support the definition of done and drive the predictable delivery if this session was helpful please like and share this video share it with your friends and subscribe for more practical scrum master content thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video